Hi everyone, welcome back to Funston TV. This is my trend. Today I'm sharing with you my September favorites. And uh, I don't have that many because I haven't really fallen in love with that many new products, but I still wanted to share these few awesome, awesome finds. Some are new, some are not so new. So let's just dive right into it. The first item that I absolutely, I cannot live without this anymore and I can't believe how long it took for me before I actually got onto the bandwagon and got it. And it's the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. And I love this neutralizing correcting cream so much because it's basically all I use now, like no foundation, no concealer. This is only what I'm wearing today. And I feel like it, it does such an amazing job covering up all those imperfections that you want to cover up on your skin. Yet it feels so light because a little bit goes such a long way and it doesn't feel as heavy as foundation or concealer. And even when you have a really lightweight concealer on, it still doesn't beat this. This feels like a cream on your skin and it dries to a match finish. It lasts long, it doesn't crease into fine lines. I absolutely love this product so much and just to continue on this trend, I'm, I apply it with a concealer brush. This is the Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush and I absolutely love how this applies the color correcting cream. This I initially got to use in combination with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and it does an amazing job and I just kind of left it on the side because I switched over to the Beauty Blender and stuff. But this works just wonders with this color corrected cream. It feathers everything out. It leaves just a little slight layer on your skin, but it's just it's just perfect. So I love these in combination. This is my two new favorite products. Top drawer always on display because I cannot live without these two. Okay, next are brows and uh, it's what I'm wearing on my brows today as well. This is the Maybelline Brow Satin. I've used it so much that the lettering is starting to come off on the sides. This is a new brow product find from the drugstore and I really like it because it does a very comparable job to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz that I use almost on a daily basis but this is about a third of the price so it's so much more worth it. The only thing that's different uh, from the colors I use is that this one is on the colder side and the Brow Wiz that I use is on the warmer side so it doesn't really matter. You know, If you can find your shade, it's like seven or eight dollars, it's so worth it. It's amazing how it applies your brows and you can do it really fast too, so I love this. I never use the powdery end, however, I just use the pencil end. But overall, great product. I use it absolutely every single day. And in combination with it, I use the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara, and this is to set my brows so that nothing moves. This is so great because it, it doesn't cost a lot of money at all, and it sets your brows in place and nothing, nothing, nothing moves. Again, it's comparable to the Anastasia Brow Gel. The only thing I don't like about it is that the packaging is clear so that over time it gets kind of gross because, you know, I have darker brows. And when you go like this and it's a, uh, there's color in your brows, it goes back in the tube and it makes it gross. So, but other than that, it's great. It's just a few dollars and it does a great job. So I can live with the fact that the tube is clear. It's fine because the brow, gel from Anastasia is like over $20, so I'm sticking with this from now on, I think. And then next, we're going back to the face, and this is an oldie but a goodie. I love this so much, and it's such a luxury product, so I don't want to use it every day because it's so expensive, and it's the Kodali Beauty Elixir. It's a face mist that makes you feel like a million dollars. It smells like a luxurious spa. <sighs> You don't need this, like you so don't need it because it's so expensive, but it smells so good and it really refreshes you and it like calms you at the same time. When you're having a stressful day and you spray that on your face, it just, it soothes you. Like if you live near a Sephora, just go and smell this and spray some on your face because it is absolutely amazing. This bottle is like over $50, so it's really, really expensive and it's definitely a splurge luxury item that you don't need, but it just makes you feel like a princess and on days where you wanna get your face refreshed, there's nothing like this. I have this one at home and I have a travel size bottle in my purse that I always carry with me, so that is a must for me. I absolutely love, love, love this product, but again, if you don't need it, it's just a little splurge or something to ask for on your birthday. Okay, finally, I have three lip products that I really love. Um, the first one is the L'Oreal Le Matte 
and she's so matte i know i've mentioned it in a couple of videos but i just cannot live without this shade it's the perfect your lips but better shade for fall i wore it almost every day this month and i love it i love it it's so perfect look at it it's just so perfect it's just beautiful it's a very flattering uh, rosy color so it's great and the two other ones are from bite beauty the matte lip creams it's the maple special edition one and my favorite shades are mauve maple and braised maple again i still can't get rid of the packaging and i keep them in the box still because it's so cute and i love them so much but you know that's just me again this is a special edition for canada it smells like maple it has maple extract in it i'm wearing braised maple on my lips today and uh, this is the shade mauve maple like they're so pigmented, so creamy. They smell so good. They last a long time and I absolutely love it. They're not overly matte, which doesn't dry your lips and it's perfect. Braised maple, mauve maple, and she's so matte. These shades are my favorite, favorite shades for fall right now and absolutely can't live without them. So that was it for my September beauty favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. I, of course, will not have a favorites video every month because I don't have that many new products that I fall in love with, but every time I have something worthy of mentioning, I'll be sure to make a video. Thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up this video if you liked it. Let me know down below what you would like to see next and what are your favorite lip shades for the fall. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss a video. I hope you're having a great one and I'll see you soon. Bye. I really am in love with these products and oops. Quick and easy. Shh, Herky, I'm almost done, please. Herky.